guys, Mr. Allen C here. We're taking another look at that Samsung 49 inch curved monitor here. And what I just had to do was I had to take this off because I had put it on right away. You don't want to put this back cover on right away. It's very difficult to get off. Uh, lucky for me, I had this tool that came in handy. There's little grooves underneath that you can stick it in to help you get started pulling it off but it's still something i wouldn't recommend doing um, just because there's so many components in this so we got that off looking behind here we got two usb ports uh, that is a pcnss port what else we got a dpn2 dpn1 hdmi in okay so for that 4K, they give you a DP. They give you a uh, DP in cable that goes to HDMI. We got the power uh, plug right there on the left. So I heard you can feed the cables in through here under this uh, white casing of the stand so that it kind of hides them. And then you can put the case on here, which will conceal your cables, but... First, make sure you get everything you want used plugged in if you opt to put this back cover on. So what I'll do now, I'll get the power plugged in. I haven't seen the uh, LEDs on the back light up yet because I haven't had much time to work with this. I'm pretty excited. Um, I just put this ring that included in there right here. It comes as two plastic half circles. And I put it in there and connected them. They just click together. And then that illuminates LED. So we're going to try to check that out this video. All right, now let's take a look on this side. Okay, here's that heavy-duty included cable. Uh, they're calling it a DPN. So we're going to plug that in here. It says do it securely. There's a little warning that says plug it in securely. The DP cable included with this monitor, it's super thick and super long. And what it is, it's just an upgrade on an HDMI cable. So it's a little better than an HDMI cable. Of course, you got the HDMI in if you prefer that. A lot of people will just be used to that. And you got two plugins for the DP cables, so that's pretty neat as well. Right, these are the two primary cables I'll be using. Um, these are really nice, but I'm not going to use them, honestly. I'm just going to use my desktop for those uh, USB ports and stuff because it's got enough on it. So now what I want to do, I want to run this cable around to the right side and run it down this arm so that you can't see all the cables. Um, so we'll do that. I removed the cover for this by just lifting up with a little strength popped off. I didn't have to push no buttons or nothing. Okay, and then I can put that back on, I suppose. So we'll see how if that's quite as easy or not. So I'll hold these in place. And... Okay. It's not on there yet. So I'm just trying to see what do I gotta do. There we go. Okay. She's popped in place. So as you can see, we got the cable management looking good coming out the bottom here, right? And uh, yeah, that's pretty clean. And then if I want, I can pull a little of this out. Well, that looks fine by me actually. So now what we'll do? We're gonna put this cover on the back. Now don't put this on until you're ready, okay? Because you don't want to break nothing. But I'm ready. So the first thing I did is these can be adjusted by pulling them down here. But what I did was I gave it a little slack. These cables a little slack because I got to fit them through this crack. And now we're going to try to put this on. Like so. It's really not bad. Wish I would have had a video like this to help me. But um, I'm glad it's out for you guys now. Let's see. So they need a little more slack. So I'll pull these out. I'll push from the bottom up so it's easier. Okay. And I'll start on the top. There we go. Look how nice this is going. Look how clean this is. And we can pull these a little tighter once we get this on. Very cool. Now you don't want your wires all twisted looking like a pretzel. But, I mean, it doesn't seem to be hurting them too bad. It's ideal if they're straight in there not twisted but yeah i think that looks pretty good 
And then this, of course, can light up with LEDs. I haven't seen that yet, but uh, that will look good. Um, and let's see what else we can do on this monitor. All right, so as you can see, it looks a little wonky on the computer. Uh, so what I did is I went into System, Display, and now I'm going to find the setting to make this look proper on this extra-wide curved monitor. All right, so under Display Settings, um, I went to Display Orientation, Landscape's what we want. So I, I started by going all the way to this top option, 5120 by 1440, and it looked much better, but it was a little too much. So let's try 1920 by 1440, see what that looks like. Nope, see it's not going all the way around, so we're going to revert back. And let's try one in between now. We'll do 2, 5, 6, 10 by 1080. Okay, see that wraps all the way around. We got the bar down here, it looks good. So that's good, let's see if there's a better one. Um, we'll try 2, 5, 6, 0 oh, by 1440. See if that's a better resolution for us. Now the bar looks thin now, so we'll revert. And we'll go, I'm trying to remember all these things I just tried. We'll try uh, 2560 oh, by 1080. Should be in between the two. This one looks good to me. And I'm going to mess around with that a little more, but that's just an idea how you can get the monitor settings looking right because, you know, you got to set it up so the display settings are right. So that looks pretty good. And like when I pop this open, everything's looking pretty clean. Some of this looks a little stretched, so I might look a little more into the display settings. But that's just kind of to get you started. There is a proper setting for it on that menu I showed you.